Alright, it's time for another math. Easy solution. Turn to discuss further into differential equations, further into direction fields, and basically go over this time an application of differential equations, and that is on uh, electric circuits, or we'll look at an electric circuit. I'm and I'm, I'm going to go over a brief introduction on uh, some of the definitions and the concepts of it, and that and then in my uh, later video I will go over an example um, using direction field and, and solving a differential equation using the direction field. Yeah, so this video is more of an introduction into uh, electric circuits and current etc. Just because I wanted to provide a background to it before I get to an example in, in the next video. Basically uh, uh, a simple electric uh, circuit, I'll draw that in a bit as shown below, I'll draw that soon. It contains an electromotive force, usually a battery or a generator, that produces a voltage of E, uh, e of T, so it's dependent on time, and a current of E of, uh, I mean, of I of T. And I'll go over what these uh, all mean in a bit. Basically, voltage is me measured in volts, uh, capital V. Current is measured in amperes, capital A. And I'll go over a brief uh, discussion about those in a bit. But if you, if you were to draw this circuit, so the circuit looks something like this. So, so we have our power supply that provides a voltage like that. We'll call it, it's like a, we'll assume it's a battery. And then it's connected to here. It's connected to a switch. So this is a switch, the on off switch. This one right here is our battery. And this battery, it is providing, let's say it's going this way, it's providing um, uh, an electromotive force or voltage here, E of T, and, a, and then which it gives off a current I of T like that. Yeah, it goes through the wire like this, and let's say we have connected here a resistor. I'll go over this in a bit with a resistance R. So this is a uh, resistor. And then it goes down here, and then what we have is this, this round swiggly thing. This is our inductor, and I'll go over that in a bit as well. So this is our inductor. Yeah, this is this is an inductor with an induct inductance of L, and this is a resistor with a resistance of R. And uh, yeah, I'll explain what those are in a bit. Basically, this circuit right here contains a resistor with a resistance R, an inductor with an inductance of L, as shown here, and resistance is measured in ohms with this um, Greek letters omega, written like that, that's the units, and inductance is measured in Henry's with a capital H. So now some brief definitions and explanations, it's a very basic explanation, so if you want to learn more about electric circuits, uh, hopefully in the future I will uh, go over a more in-depth uh, analysis. Uh, basically brief definitions, voltage is an electromotive force that would drive an electric current between two points and a current is a flow or rate of flow of electric charge so basically voltage is pushing a electric charge which, which is the current and uh, the electric charge, I mean the flow of electric charge and an electric charge is basically the physical property of matter that causes it to experience a force when placed in an electromagnetic field and this is mainly due to the difference between protons uh, between the number of protons and electrons. I'll write that there. Yeah, between the number of protons and electrons uh, and excess of electrons in any substance is said to be negatively charged and excess of protons is said to be positively charged. And like charges repel from each other, unlike attracts a positive uh, yeah, protons, electrons attract each other. Or an object with more protons will attract another object with uh, more electrons than protons. But in, in electric circuits, this electric charge is just carried often by just moving electrons in a wire. So you can think of all these are negatively charged, uh, elect uh, negatively charged particles in, in terms of electrons. So basically, these are just electrons flowing through the wire. Yeah, so the current is basically the rate of flow of the electrons moving across the wire. And a resistor is just uh, an electrical component that can reduce or limit current flow 
and lower voltage levels, usually in the form of, of dissipating as heat. So basically this would uh, stop or uh, resist the current and, and the way it does this, for example, um, yeah, by dissipating as heat. And one example of that is, well, resistors could be also, well, the end goal of a circuit, for example, a light bulb. So a light bulb it's a, itself is a resistor. It doesn't have to be just an electrical component that's part of the circuit. It could be also the end goal. And So a light bulb is a resistor because it involves electrical resistance uh, to create heat to make the filament in the bulb glow. So that current or electric charge goes into heating that filament and turns the light on. An inductor is different than the resistor. Basically, an inductor is an electric component uh, that resists changes in, in electric current passing through it. Basically, when current flows through an inductor, a magnetic field builds up which resists the flow of current until the magnetic field is fully built up, after which the current flows normally. Yeah, I'm not going to go over too much on how it does this, but it's usually just a coil of wire, and then whenever current's going through it, current is stopped, or, or current is hindered, while the field builds up, once it's built up, then it goes through, and if the energy source is turned off, for example, the stored up magnetic energy gets turned into electrical energy, and current can still flow from the inductor until it is used up. So it's kind of like a... A, um, yeah, a storage of energy because even if you turn off the energy source there is still some magnetic energy which gets transformed to electrical energy and then moves the current across even though the energy source is off even though there's no other current flowing it because again it, it's like a delayed uh, reaction uh, over there because it has some stored up energy thus an inductor induces an electromotive force that is always opposite to the change in current, i.e., for example, turning a circuit on is the same as saying going from zero to current of I. The inductor opposes this current until the magnetic field builds up. After that, you just have a constant current of I. On the other hand, if you're turning off the circuit, it's the same as going from a, a current of I, for example, I don't know, five amperes, etc., whatever to zero, so you're going from, uh, so you're dropping in current, so the inductor opposes this by inducing a current until a magnetic field is, uh, a magnetic field energy is dissipated. Yeah, so this inductor would oppose it, uh, so when you're going to zero, even though there's no current, there is still some current coming from the inductor. And again, yeah, inductor has many uses as well, resistors have many uses, I'm not going to go over those, that's just outside the scope of this video. Basically, um, Ohm's law right here uh, gives, yeah, Ohm's law gives the drop in voltage due, the, due to the resistor as R times I, or the re resistance of the resistor times by the, yeah, by the current, and again, current is in I, I of T, so that's our current. So the resistance times current is equal to the drop in voltage from the resistor due to Ohm's law, and that's why resistance is written in Ohm's. I think it's by that guy who got that law. And the voltage drop due to an inductor is L times, and again, L is the inductance in Henry's, times it by the change in current, di over D, uh, D, uh, di over dt. Yeah, and again, I'm not going to go over too much on why this is so. Again, this is outside the scope, but the application from, to electrical circuits of differential equations is in one of Kirchhoff's laws. It says that the sum of the voltage drops is equal to the supplied voltage E of T. That's from our battery. So thus, what we could write is, let's say, a change in... Yeah, I'll just write change in voltage or voltage drop of, let's say, the uh, inductor... So the sum of all the voltage drops in our, our circuit is going to be inductor and a resistor. So chain delta v, uh, v, which is for voltage, equals to the yeah, energy supplied right here, EFT. So what we end up having right here, this one, this, this drop right here is for the inductor is just L times DI over DT. So I'll write that down. So this is just going to be L times DI over DT. And then we are going to add the voltage drop to the resistor, which is, again, due to Ohm's law, R times I. 
So resistance times by the current, and this has to equal it to the energy supplied. So what we end up having here is a uh, first order differential equation. This is a derivative, and there's the function i in there, and there's a derivative of the current right there. Yeah, so we'll write this down right here. So the, which is a first order differential equation that models the current i at time t. So yeah, so basically all this background I just wanted to go over just to help you uh, just explain a bit more for the example I'm going to do in my next video and how we can, yeah, how, how we can see that electrical circuits is an application of differential equations because of this equation. This is one of the Kirchhoff's laws. And uh, again, hopefully in later videos in the future, I'll, I'll go over some circuitry. But anyways, that's all for today. If you learn from this uh, brief introduction into circuitry, and yeah, stay tuned for my next video on example on finding direction fields using uh, this differential equation. Anyways, that's all for today. If you learn, like always, you can download these exact notes in the link below. And thanks for watching. And stay tuned for another math easy solution.